Prepper Basics, it's time for 30 random facts. This is Throttle Up Prepper. Hey, Prepper Basics. Welcome to Throttle Up Prepper. I'm your host, Jeff. And if you haven't been to the website lately, what you waiting for? All kinds of great stuff there all the time. If you just go to throttleupprepper.com and uh, avail yourself of all the stuff we have there. It's growing all the time. And for those of you who have subscribed, thank you. To those of you who have not, please consider doing so today. So this 30 random facts thing that's going around uh, YouTube and uh, pretty good in the prepper community. Uh, seems like some guys are getting tagged and, uh, you know, pulled into it that way. Other people are just doing them because they seem fun. I resisted doing it for a while, although I've only been out here for three months or so at this point uh, with this channel and uh, wasn't going to do it because I thought, eh, I don't know. But then I, the more I thought about it, it sounds fun, and it seems like a good way for you in the audience, uh, my subscribers and potential subscribers alike, to get to know yours truly a little bit. So, ready? Here we go with 30 random facts. Fact number one. I'm a published author. Uh-huh. I got two books. Power and Perseverance came out in 2006, and The Excuse Assassin. Uh, 2015, I got two more books in the works, one in, in the editing process now. Uh, another uh, random fact about me is I used to be a radio DJ, among other things at radio stations, but I used to be on-air personality in uh, some uh, pretty cool markets, uh, including, uh, but not limited to, Tampa Bay. This is, a matter of fact, the last station I worked for uh, in commercial radio as a full-time on-air employer. The new 1025 Tampa Bay's Hard Classic Rock Station. I like that station because it didn't require the energy um, of the over-the-top top 40 stations that I work for. For instance, today's hottest hit Z99. Oh, I can't do it now even. <laughs> yeah, the classic rock suited me better. Uh, another random fact about me is I have been on television no fewer than seven times um, and aired uh, on various uh, satellite and cable networks around the world. Uh, another random fact that kind of goes with the whole radio thing is I used to produce a weekly dance party. Um, Kind of, not only in podcast form, but for FM and AM stations, both uh, normal and low power as well. Internet stations, a cable connection through Costa Rica, uh, Central and South America, internet throughout the rest of the world, and some actual stations here in this country. That was for Soul Records out in Los Angeles, California. That was a lot of fun. Uh, also, I've done voiceovers uh, in various markets, uh, everything from the uh, over-the-top Mitsubishi Outlander commercials all the way to, uh, you know, laid-back restaurant stuffs. Uh, another one, I've even done PSAs. This, I guess it's kind of the same as the last one, the voiceover work, uh, even on PSAs uh, in Los Angeles. So those of you in Los Angeles... Sorry. Random fact number five. I've been to the Caribbean a whole lot of times. Uh, four times on cruises. Uh, I've been to St. Thomas three times. And I got the hat to prove it, man. Ha <laughs> ha! I think the Caribbean uh, counts as random fact number five. St. Thomas three times. I think we're going that with uh, number six. Uh, and um, the hat. The embarrassing, embarrassing hat is random fact number seven. I own a dreadlock hat. Uh, I've been to 18 of these United States, plus the District of Columbia. I've been to Mexico uh, just once, and uh, 
while in Mexico, um, the next uh, random fact, I think this is number 10, is that I've been to the pyramids in Tulum. I used to live in the Caribbean for a very short time uh, uh, doing one of my uh, radio things down there. And uh, I speak, well, really, I speak one language fluently, but I also uh, habla poquito español, uh, no problema. Me toca disco este descompuesto. <laughs> For those of you who speak Spanish, you'll see that that was pretty random. Also, uh, learning Hebrew, if you can believe that. Uh-huh. If you speak Hebrew, tell me if I did okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Um, so that's, uh, we're up to like 12. I believe we're up to random fact number 13. You're going to find this stunning. Not only am I a college graduate, but I'm a Bible college graduate. Check me out. <laughs> I um, Actually, I'm also involved in full-time ministry. I guess that's random fact number 14 and uh, involved as part of that in a new uh, startup congregation in a... Uh, pretty major denomination. We'll just leave it at that. Uh, another random fact, and I find this one odd because I'm not a very good singer, but I have sung on stage, granted as part of a mass 300-person choir, uh, before 10,313 people um, in Lakeland, Florida for Handel's Young Messiah under the conduct of Ralph Carmichael. Uh, met a lot of uh, famous people. I think this is, what, number 15 now? Uh, including uh, Tony Dungy, uh, Robert Cool Bell, and J.T. Taylor of Cool and the Gang, uh, and uh, a, a bunch of others. I collect autographs from people I either have directly met or indirectly met. This is a number, whatever the next one is. Hey! Random fact about me. I never consistently shut this thing off. Does that count? <laughs> Holy cow, this is harder than I thought. The counting part, I mean. <laughs> Random fact number 18. My first car was a 1980 Chevy Citation GT. <laughs> I don't think they made a GT, but whoever owned that rust bucket before I got that piece of junk had a big GT on the side of it. Oh, yeah. It was one sweet ride. Uh, number 19, I haven't driven a car in 17 years. Uh, for those of you new to the channel, this may be your first video and wondering why I'm not really looking at the camera so good. I'm legally blind, that's why. Random fact number 20. I am a certified scuba diver. Or at least I was at one time. I haven't been in a long time for obvious reasons. When you can't see the shark, you can't escape from the shark. Just say it. Uh, random fact number 21. Uh, there, I was written about in one magazine article that I know of. Uh, random fact number 22. Is that correct? 22 is uh, that I grew up in the Northeast and did an awful lot of downhill skiing in my day. Lots of fun. Random fact number 23. My dad had the most amazing midlife crisis. <laughs> and I got to do uh, a lot of sailing. I uh, grew up, my dad had a 32-foot sailboat. And uh, in fact, number 24, he also had a private pilot license. And I used to go flying a lot. And I even have one hour logged for pilot training. We know why that was not meant to be. Random fact number 24. Five, the home stretch here. Uh, I have, I, I really, as a practice, do not listen to uh, secular music anymore. I only listen to Christian music for a bunch of years now. Uh, uh, but oddly enough, all of my radio years were only in secular music. 
I'm not sure why that was. Christian stations were afraid of me or something. I don't know. Random fact number 26. The very first concert I ever went to uh, was uh, Van Halen back in the Van Hagar days. And random fact number 27. Uh, let me see. What was the most recent concert I went to? Good grief. It was probably... Uh, Holy moly. I don't know. It's probably Petra and Super Chick or something. I don't even know. I'd have to give that one some more thought. So that's that's kind of random. Random fact number 28. Uh, I fancy myself a bit of a musician. I can play several instruments, including piano, guitar, trumpet, E-flat baritone horn, and I am killer on kazoo. Does that count? Uh, I'm jack of all trades, master of none. Not really good at any of them, but I can play enough to impress someone who can't play at all. Maybe. Random fact number 29. Uh, originally, I was going to go to Berkeley College of Music for mu uh, music production engineering. And uh, through a story I recounted in my first book, Tragically. It never happened. And finally, random fact, number 30. And you're going to find this nuts because of an earlier fact about my dad having a private pilot license and about uh, me even logging time, blind as I am. And another fact, well, I think there's going to be a bonus fact here. I actually went up in a World War II fighter plane in an air show in the Caribbean. So I guess technically that's 30. But random fact, 31 is a bonus. I'm actually afraid to fly. I don't like to fly commercial. It has nothing to do with terrorism or anything else. I just, you know, I haven't been in a commercial airliner since I think 99. Uh, I just don't, I, I don't know. I, I like it when I can look out the front window, not the side windows apparently. So there it is. That's it. Random facts, 30, best I can tell. Uh, you can probably count them up and, and challenge me in the comments that I can't count either as another random fact. But God bless you. I had fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, please subscribe. God bless.